Bismillah and Assalamualaikum Now in this video we will um, do solving binomial poverty distribution Ok now example 1 A fair die is strewn 8 times And the question asks you to find the poverty obtaining number 3 For exactly 2 times That is 6 times and almost 3 times Now for this question first and foremost what you have to do is write down your random variable now this random variable is your binomial random variable where x is now for binomial random variable you must know what is your success event now the success event over here is when you obtain the number three when you toss a die so you can see that it is the number of times the die obtain number 3 okay then for binomial you must have two things which is x having a binomial you must have two things which is a parameter n and parameter p so you must know for n is the number of trials. From this question, you can see that a fair die is shown 8 times is your number of trials. So, n is equivalent to 8. Now, obtaining number 3 just now, as I mentioned, is your success event. So, if a die is shown, you will actually have a sample space of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Alright? Now, if a property of success is actually getting number 3, the probability would have 1 over by 6. So, P would equivalent to 1 over by 6. Alright? So, you can write X having a binomial with N8 and P1 over by 6. Okay? So, let's look at question part A. Question asks you to find the probability of obtaining number 3 for exactly 2 times. So, exactly 2 times basically is Px equivalent to 2. Now, this thing is just you substitute into the formula. If you cannot remember, the, the binomial formula will give you when Px equivalent to R of successes. We'll have n choose R, P power R, Q n minus by R where p plus q should be equivalent to 1 okay so if you substitute into the formula where your n is 8 choose 2 your r successes and your p is 1 over by 6 power 2 and your q if p plus q equivalent to 1 q basically is 1 minus by p so, if 1 minus by 1 over 6, you will get 5 over by 6. N minus R would be 8 minus 2 will have 2. Now, this one, you just use your calculator and you will have your answer such 0 0.2605. So, they say that the probability of uh, obtaining number 3 exactly 2 times is 0 0.20. Okay, now let's look at part B. Now, part B is at least 6 times. So, from the sentences, you can change into notation. If you have at least, your sign will be Px greater and equivalent for at least 6 times. So, 6 times, your number of times did I obtain number 3? 6 times. So, if greater than equivalent for binomial, you must sum up un until the end trial. So you have Px when equivalent to 6 plus by Px when equivalent to 7 plus by Px equivalent to 8, which is your end trial over here. And then simply substitute into the formula. Such you're going to get 6 choose 2. 1 over 6 power of I'm sorry I get it wrong it shouldn't be 6 choose 2 it's actually 8 choose 6 because your n is 8 your r over here is 6 1 over 6 power 6 
and then Q is 5 over 6 power 2 because 8 because 8 minus by 6 is going to be 2 and then plus by your n is 8 choose your r successors here is 7 so you have 8 choose 7 1 over by 6 power 7 and then 5 over by 6 power of now 8 minus 7 would give you 1 plus by and then 8 choose 8 again 1 over by 6 power of 8 balance would be 5 over by 6 your q power of 8 minus 8 would give you 0 now again use your calculator calculate one by one you can calculate one by one for each term or simply i can calculate straight away you're gonna get your probability of obtaining number three at least six times would give you 0 0.00044 okay you may check the answer if it is wrong then please do correct me okay so again it is important for you to know how to change the sentences into notation all right now let's look at the last part for at most three times now at most three times your notation would give you probability obtaining number three at most three times we give x which is the number of time the die obtain number three the the number of time the die obtain number three at most we have a sign of less and equivalent to three okay now this one is not going to be summed up until the end trial because it is at most it should be less than three and 3 so it should be started from px equivalent to 0 plus by you can always write it p1 like that plus by p2 plus by p3 okay so your successors your 0 1 2 and 3 so the sum of this all again substitute into the formula you have your n e to 0 your success probability success 1 over 6 power 0 5 over by 6 power of 8 balance because 8 minus 0 is 8 plus by uh, 8 choose 1 1 over by 6 power of 1 5 over by 6 power of 7 plus by 8 choose 2 1 over by 6 power 2 and 5 over by 6 power of 6 plus by 8 choose 3 1 over by 6 power of 3 and 5 over by 6 power of 5 again sum up using the calculator you will get the probability the number of time the die obtain number 3 at most 3 time would give you 0 0.9693 Okay.